so hello everybody and welcome back to another vlog i hope we're all doing really well um staying calm having a nice weekend it is the weekend today it's actually sunday uh, and it's also mother's day which kind of feels a little bit strange today of all days and everything going on in the world i know that a lot of people won't be able to see their mums or their aunties or grandmas or you know all the awesome women in their lives today um but hopefully you can have like a good chat or a skype call or send some nice messages and uh, next year we'll we'll spoil them all rotten mother's day is always a bit of a weird day for me regardless i don't feel awful actually i did struggle to get out of bed this morning but i think that was more to do with me staying up last night playing spyro on PlayStation. <laughs> I only really have myself to blame for that one. But I did actually wake up to a really lovely surprise. I uh, had a card and some flowers from Moon. Obviously went out of her way to uh, to buy those herself, saved up her pocket money. <laughs> and um, Joe got some pastries as well. So thank you to Joe. He's far too good to me, he really is. So yes, I had a really lovely breakfast this morning. Spent some more time playing Spyro, which is my personal form, favourite form of self-care at the moment and um, now I want to do some skincare, just like had a shower and gotten ready for the day. The one thing I'm really struggling with at the moment is my skin. It's probably the worst it's been in a really long time um, and I understand that skin is completely relative to what you experience yourself and for some this might be a really good skin day but for me uh, there's definitely some issues and I, I think it's my fault more than anything. I probably haven't been taking the best care of it lots of stress, lots of late nights, um, maybe not the best skincare game happening and going on, and also just a lot of sugar. I don't know about you, but I have been snacking so badly. There's something about being around the house and knowing that you can't go outside that really makes you crave just like snacking and nibbling on things all the time. So um, we actually have a real lack of fresh food at the moment. I think that's something we need to rectify some nice vegetables and green things will probably do wonders for my face right now. So yes, I think we can just do a little bit of skincare together. This is gonna be, I think because it's a Sunday, I'm gonna do like a real extra skincare routine. I'm really gonna go above and beyond, use all the products and, and see what I can do. First thing I did actually when I got out of the shower is absolutely coated myself in body lotion and this, if you're looking for something that is an absolute treat, something you kind of reserve for, you know, a proper, proper pamper day, this is incredible. It's from Diptyque. It's the Invigorating Body Balm. And I cannot explain to you how good this smells. It's beyond anything I've ever, ever smelled before. And when this is on your skin, it just gets so much better. Like, it warms up to your body heat and body chemistry and the, oh god just some sort of magical reaction happens i think it's actually orange blossom so it it smells a lot like oranges so good it's like a really thick balm really different to anything that i have or have used on my body before i think we really me especially uh neglect kind of you know moisturizing exfoliating in terms of body we do so much on our skin but then forget all the rest of the skin that goes below the neck. So yeah, one thing I'm gonna try and do is really stick to a religious uh, moisturizing body routine. That's kind of like my one resolution for the next couple of weeks is get some hydration in my skin. I've had a little raid of my skincare stash. I thought I'd pick out some new products that I don't necessarily use all that often. I have got a cleanser here from The Ordinary, the Squalane cleanser. Um, I've got some masks. I've got the Versed mask that I actually got um, and unboxed in my last video. So I'm gonna try that out, it's a clay mask. And I've also got one from Summer Fridays here. Summer Fridays are the most gorgeous skincare products. This is the R&R &R mask, which I think is a little bit exfoliating. It's like replenishing, brightening. So I'm gonna use these two together today and just have a bit of a mask off and really like feed my skin. So I haven't done anything to it today at all. I'm gonna cleanse first. I actually have a uh, workout plan today, first workout in a very long time. So the yoga studio that I usually go to have um, obviously closed down now, but they're doing online classes. So I have booked in for an online yin class later today, which I am very excited for. Yoga to me, I kind of tend to pick the yoga that is a little bit more easy and flowing and you know where you get to lie down on a pillow for most of the time that to me is 
very much kind of some self-care time, just that hour, hour and a half that you can switch off for, just focus on your body, focus on breathing, is so, so good for your mind. It's a really, really amazing thing. I cannot recommend yoga enough to anybody that wants to try it or hasn't tried it before. Obviously, there are kind of other forms of exercise that I have gotten really, really into and, you know, just love doing now, especially things like spin classes, um, and going to the gym, unless I'm willing to invest in a Peloton bike, which I don't think is on my curls right now. Um, that's something that I'm not going to be able to do for a while, which, you know, it became quite a big part of my routine, and I've been trying really hard to kind of maintain that. It's not the easiest thing to do, especially when you're at home, and you don't have, you know, the necessary tools and equipment to do that with. Um, but things like, you know, doing at home YouTube videos. And there's so many apps uh, and things that give you like a proper set schedule, workout routine. There's a couple um, that I like. There's one called Freeletics and also I think Tone and Sculpt is kind of a new one. Um, that one also has like gym routines too. If you go into the gym and you're not quite sure what machines to use and, and what order to do everything in, it's really helpful. I think for now, I'm gonna try and focus on yoga at home. Maybe go for a couple of runs. Um, in areas that you know there's not a lot of people around I think that's gonna be fine to do for the moment because I really just miss like getting a sweat up and feeling my heart pumping and you know all of that I think that's also negatively affected my skincare because I haven't like properly sweated out of my face for a while and I really think it helps um, just balance your skin and you know keep it refreshed and turning over I think I should probably do this mask first because it's more exfoliating um, I've still yet to try the entire range from Summer Fridays, but everything that I do manage to get my hands on always really impresses me. Look at the little particles inside this. It's got such pretty little, I don't know, they look like flower petals almost. They're probably not, but um, oh, they feel very like scrubby. I feel like there's maybe some sugar in here. Exfoliating is one of the things I really really neglect when it comes to my skin um, and I should definitely do a lot more whether that's manual exfoliating every once in a while like this is doing or you know keeping up with acids and toners that's something that I always always skip in my skincare routine when it comes to the end of the day and you're you know just trying and trying to make it into bed as quickly as possible then uh, a few things sometimes get neglected and that usually is one of them for me mostly because I won't have like a cotton pad or I haven't washed my reusable ones it's usually my excuse okay I think I am supposed to massage that one in and then leave it for a little while gently massage I'll leave for 10 minutes and remove the damp washcloth okay guys I'll see you again in 10 minutes time okay I'm back this mask is actually very like oily it feels like a really oily base um and it's almost completely all just been absorbed into my skin that is how dehydrated and dry i am at the moment it actually feels really nice my skin already looks like it's got a lot more glow to it i think that like dead skin surface there has, has been removed and rehydrated and it feels very plump which is exactly what we wanted so I'm gonna go in with the second mask now, the first. Photos please, brightening, tightening. Uh, Turmeric and Kaolin mask. Kaolin, Kaolin clay. I really like this uh, packaging. It looks like a single use one, but it actually says it has 12 applications in here. So I'm guessing you don't need a lot. And as this is a clay mask, I'm gonna use my little brush. This is a Glam Glow brush that they sent me once with one of their masks. And it is so useful for applying clay masks and anything really skincare based like this. Look at that. It's also incredibly fun and therapeutic to just paint things on your face. And I find that you waste so much less with this because you're not like trying to get it all on with your fingers and then, you know, washing half of it off with your hands. And you can, you know, practice making the perfect face mask face. So I've left that about 10 minutes and it's really nice actually. It's not one of those clay masks that feels like super and you can't move your face and you know it's gonna crack. It just feels like it's kind of pulled out what it needs to do but also moisturised a little bit too. That really just sort of like sealed the deal and um, 
Oh, I feel like I can move it. It feels so fresh. It feels like all my blocked pores and things have been unclogged and exactly what I wanted. Okay, so that's like the cleansing portion of my skincare um, over and done with. I usually do like to do a double mask, like a double cleanse and then a double mask if I've been wearing makeup. Um, so I'll always try and do that, you know, maybe at the end of the week. I usually actually use this from The Ordinary. It's the AHA um, Peeling Solution. Really quite an intense exfoliation. If you have sensitive skin, it might be a bit much, but I mean, that just usually completely transforms my face. And then I'll do something moisturizing on top. But I'm really happy with those two. Okay, so next, um, serum. I don't have a serum here that I picked out. So I'm gonna use my normal. This is the one um, I'm using at the moment, again, from The Ordinary, the Hyaluronic Acid. I love a bit of Hyaluronic Acid. It's my favorite skincare product. I think if I really had to whittle it down and, you know, just use some um, very, very minimal products in my routine, which, you know, my routine is not that complicated. I don't use as many things as I used to. Usually only when I'm doing something like this is where I kind of go overboard. Um, but that would definitely be one of them. Anything with Hyaluronic Acid in, just amazing. I usually will always do a layer of that as well, no matter what I'm putting on top of it. Um, and today I have something new. I have these Cellular Recovery Skin Bliss capsules from Elemis. Elemis really do some of my favorite skincare for when it comes to like a pampering or you know extra step routine. They just uh, really think about what the skin needs and there's so many things for so many different um, issues and, and problems that you might be having and, and just some really gorgeous like pampering products too. So these are all little capsules. There's, I think it's the pink for day and the green for night. So I'm gonna take a pink one out. I really love products that come in capsules. It seems a little bit like extra and bougie, but it, it feels good at the same time. So I'm just gonna take the contents of that and press that all into my skin. These are just a really gorgeous luxurious oil. Um, I'm feeling like a good oil base today just to add in that hydration that I'm wanting. Mm, these ones smell like rose and they are so beautiful. Um, the actual rose collection that LMS do, I have a few things from them. I have their collagen cleanser and it, oh, the smell is just insane. A little bit of eye cream. I've got the illuminating anti-fatigue eye cream here from Glam Glow, which I now can't open because my hands are all oily. Again, I haven't used this before, but it's been sitting in my drawer for a while and I needed a new eye cream, so I would try this one out. I've yet to find an eye cream that honestly really makes a lot of difference. I do notice um, the hydration that I get from them and how well they make my makeup apply on top. But uh, in terms of dark circles, which is the thing that obviously I try my best to sort out, I honestly think they're just like hereditary and there isn't really any cream that's gonna make much of a difference. And then to top this all off, I've got the Marc Jacobs Youth Quake. This is another one that I've been meaning to try. I've had it in my drawer and I'm out of moisturizer at the moment and uh, wanted something new. The uh, Hydrofull Retexturizing Gel Cream. I'm not quite sure what this is going to be like. Oh, it's yellow. Look at that. I'm going to use a little bit of this to start with and see. It might be one of those gel creams that you need just a little bit of. Oh, so nice. There's something about a gel that is so soothing on my skin. I probably wouldn't use something like that in the evening because, you know, when I go to bed, I want my skin to just be packed full of moisture. But in the day when I've got makeup to put on, I probably would love this. It's actually very, very comfortable. It feels like it's, you know, not too light. It feels like it's got a good amount of something to it. And then to finish it all off, I have the cutest little balm.com here. I'm not sure where my normal one is, but this is just the original. So that's gonna go on my lips. Mm. So much better. Honestly, a good skincare routine and 10 minutes in the bathroom having a pamper can just transform your mood. I feel amazing now. Here is my skin. Obviously we've still got breakout central going on. It's more scarring now than anything. But I feel like the glow is back and so much better. So there we go. So guys, I've just 
been um, setting up a little area to do some yoga in and uh, trying to work out how to log into Zoom, which I've never done before and hopefully I've done it right because that's where the glass is taking place. Uh, and I've just had a little visitor who's come to sit here on my lap. I swear, whenever I get this mat out, her favorite thing is to come and sit in it. I don't know if it's because it's like rubbery or squishy, but she absolutely loves it. <laughs> you got your paws all over my yoga mat. I know your downward dog is better than mine, but you're gonna move because you're, you're kind of gonna be in the way. It's actually been such a nice day today, guys. Like it really feels like a spring day, like so Mother's Day appropriate. And I know uh, so many people probably would have wanted to go outside and it's been difficult not to do that because, you know, our spirits, we do we do like to exploit the sun whenever it happens to, uh, to show itself. I feel very lucky at the moment to have a place to go and sit outside in a garden, although it doesn't actually get a lot of sun. I feel very privileged to just have that outdoor space that I can get some fresh air in and go outside and, you know, Moon can enjoy it and we don't have to go into a public park or somewhere where, you know, we probably shouldn't. So that's what I'm thinking about right now. I have to show you actually the card that Moon got me this morning because you were an absolute cutie. I say Moon got it for me. We all know that's not actually the case. But um, here, look, she even put her own little message in it. With a poor bread, I can't. I, I literally can't. It's too much. She got me some flowers. These daffodils, um, there was such a big bunch, they had to be split up into three. So in a few days' time, these are going to come out. It'll be lovely. I never think to buy daffodils, especially around this time of year, but they're everywhere. And they're so gorgeous. They're actually one of my favourite flowers. Alongside, of course, lilies. My lilies are looking a little bit sad at the moment you're probably used to seeing a bunch of these in the background of, of my vlogs and things because i just love them so much white lilies are my absolute favorite flower if anybody is wanting to buy me some not that you are so i think i need to do something to rescue these i definitely heard that if you put lemonade into the water that helps i think it's like the sugar burst um something like that if anybody has any tips let me know i've also got this box sitting here on my table while i'm showing you everything I might as well show you this. This arrived at my doorstep today, completely unbeknownst to me. My dad is the kind of person that if you mention something once, he will go out of his way to find it. So I now have a box of four of these Yorkshire biscuit teas. I actually had run out from my stash that he got me at Christmas. This tea, guys, if you haven't tried this, it is incredible. It makes tea an even more heavenly experience than it, it currently was which is saying something uh so so good especially with a rich tea and a little plate of biscuits so i will definitely not be running out of that anytime soon thank you dad he also bless him got us these hand sanitizers i don't know where he found them because uh you know they're pretty a pretty hot commodity at the moment but they're actually cruelty free and they have vitamin e in them and they're really moisturizing so my dad, I don't know how he does it, but if you need something sourced, look no further than Gary Coburn.